In this Vidly Pro Live case study, we're going to pick up from part one where we're now going to uh, do further research with our keywords within Vidly, and then we're going to use Vidly to automatically generate perfectly optimized SEO text for us to apply into our videos. So it really doesn't matter if you're an expert or newcomer when it comes to video SEO and ranking. We're going to cover this whole process shortly. Okay, here I am in Vidly and it's time to jump over to the keywords tab and start doing some basic research. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to create a new campaign in Vidly and I'm going to call this campaign house flooding, okay? And I want to target a specific geo. So I'm going to be targeting house flooding. Let's just see a, a list of geos in Manchester. So a list of cities in England. Okay, so here's a list of cities in England that we can um, start targeting. So ideally, you can see the population it says under most of these here and I don't really want a super competitive population like London which has like 9 million people um, but something fairly in between just something Preston there we go okay so Preston has got 110,000 people in it which actually makes it not too competitive just overall but also plenty of search volume plenty of people live in that area so ideally you would take Preston and then you would just break it down all the villages etc but I'm just going to target Preston as a whole so uh, what I'm going to do just open up my word document and I'm just going to put geo equals Preston and remember you know once you've got rankings for Preston there's nothing stopping you from moving on to every other place as well so let's go back to Vidley and I'm going to put in house flooding um, dash Preston okay because all keywords are relating to Preston now okay so I'm just going to do create campaign I'm going to press ok Okay, so now what I want to do is I just want to quickly change the uh, location to United Kingdom because I don't want uh, to be targeting keywords that are outside the area. Okay, so just before you get started and you start analyzing all the other keywords, what you want to do, you want to take your, your main keyword and then your geo and then your overall geo. So what I want to do is house flooding. Preston, England. Okay, so I just want to see, uh, just change this to United Kingdom again, and I just want to see what sort of things come up because you never know, it can give you some inspiration and it will also give you an idea of just how long tail keywords you should be putting in. So let's go ahead and do research. Okay, so it's returned back with 103 keywords, as it states here, and what it's done is taken all the top trending videos catered around this sort of search query and it's giving us an estimated views per month according to all the data that YouTube gives and if we scroll down it's giving us a whole list of all of these keywords. Now this is actually really good because so what it's actually showing us is past things which has been about flooding in Preston which means that there's actually a history of flooding in Preston so that's that's actually quite good um you know to know down the line and of course if you wanted to utilize all of these little searches here you can as well now personally it's not giving me too much inspiration but I'm gonna go ahead and grab some of the keywords from our word document and start you know seeing what's what so one of the first things i'm going to do is grab flooded bungalow i'm going to put this here okay preston england make sure you leave your geo in because that these are where we're going to be targeting this is going to be the one of the main factors of whether or not you're going to able to rank so i'm going to go ahead and press research okay so vidly has just presented a whole bunch of keywords for us um that might actually be a good idea to include in the description of our future videos okay so what can we see we can see that north england floods you know it's got about 1200 monthly searches and 843,000 competition i'm going to add it in because i actually think it will be a nice addition for our secondary keywords um england floods again i think i I'm going to add this in flooding North England um, and let's just carry on having a look um, we don't really want that it's not really heavier rainstorm flooded our basement that could be something interesting 
uh, keep scrolling down compilations we don't need Okay, okay, so that's the first keyword. So all I'm gonna do is make sure that they're ticked and add to saved keywords just like so. Okay, because I'm actually gonna use all of these as the secondary keywords and I'm gonna use Flood Bungalow Preston England as the primary keyword. Now let's do another one or two keywords just so you get a feel of how I actually do these things. So again, jump in, water pouring through ceiling. Okay, and research. Okay, so now that's finished loading and what can we see? Now this here, water leaking through ceiling, is actually something really exciting because it's got 702,000 uh, competitors for that sort of variation. But if we actually do water, if we make this a separate video called water leaking through ceiling pressed in England, then that could actually be a really profitable keyword for us because it's got a decent amount of search volume and low competition for the overall ranking. Okay, so that's quite exciting. So I'm going to add this in, uh, I'm going to add water leaks through ceiling. Now, here's the thing. When you see how to fix water damage, popcorn ceiling and stuff like that, one of the core things that goes through a business owner's mind with this particular keyword is people are looking on how to do it rather than looking for specific services. But being realistic, you know, to fix these sort of services, I would feel a lot more confident in a service provider if they're sharing proof that they are actually able to do it. And I'm not talking about reviews. Reviews are super easy to manipulate these days. I'm talking about hardcore uh, overall you know, video footage of me watching them fix it and see how they conduct themselves as well. Being realistic, not everyone is a DIYer. I'm not a DIYer. Um, so when I'm searching for that, I think, oh, okay, well, you know what? It looks a bit tacky. So I'm just going to you know, hire this firm because they've already shown me they can do it. So sometimes creating these little videos showing people how to do it can be really beneficial and bring you in huge amounts of search volume and authority to your channel. So when you are ranking for the smaller keywords, um, you're going to get seen a lot faster. Okay. And you'll get better better rankings, more exposure, and, 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 okay? So uh, sometimes it's actually worth ranking for these videos. So how to deduct water dripping, how to deduct water leakage, leakage um, how to find water leak and ceiling, stuff like that, how to fix water leak and ceiling. Um, and again, a lot of these are good for secondary keywords, water dripping from ceiling during rain. And remember, the reason I'm saying secondary keywords and not primary keywords is because according to our research from the paid ads, businesses are paying for these keywords to be seen okay so these are keywords and these are things that people we know everyday people are suffering from because they're leaving reviews about these sort of services and 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 okay so these are going to be like kind of sprinkling some extra video seo just to boost our rankings even more in the secondary uh, keywords. So water leaking in ceiling bathroom. And remember, you can also use these as inspiration as well. Shower leaking through ceiling. That could be another good keyword to rank for. Ceiling water leak detection. Okay. So you can see I'm ticking all of these things that are just going to boost. And a lot of these things like leak a ceiling, what to do, you know, these can be good primary keywords as well. Okay. So I'm just going to add to saved keywords and I'm going to do one more research. Um, again, just to emphasize what's going on. Water from my bathroom. Okay, so that's finished loading and just having a quick look, it doesn't really scream the sort of audience we want to be ranking our videos for, for water from my bathroom, Preston. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna open up my document and take away this keyword. And the reason why is because we only want a specific sort of audience actually watching our videos. And although we could probably rank amongst all of these keywords for that specific uh, long tail keyword, personally, I want to tell YouTube to send a specific sort of audience to my channel. And I don't think it mixing with all of this is going to be going to do our videos any justice. 
So let's remove that and search for the next one, which is water and flood damage pressed in England. Okay, so water and flood damage pressed in England. Again, it's just shown us a whole bunch of uh, keywords, um, but it's actually more specifically um, gearing towards like engines and stuff. So what I'm going to do is flood damage plans is probably I'm going to add these as secondary keywords, some of them. So water damage plans, uh, flood water in basement, that could be a good primary, uh, rainwater damage. Okay, so there's still some good keywords in there. Uh, water damage repairs, that potentially could be something. England flood, flooding, no, nope, how to fix, okay. So I'm just gonna add them to our saved keyword list, okay. So now if we look to the left, we've got all of these saved keywords that we can either copy or export. So I'm just gonna make a backup of this and click the export button. So now you can see we've got all of these keywords uh, like so and ideally you can use these as primary if you want just for the sake of this video I'm going to be using them as secondary keywords because we already have our core keywords in the document but ideally if you really want to succeed you be using everything you've got okay and now the next step is to head over to niche analysis and see what sort of things we are really going to be looking at okay now we've done our keyword research and perhaps some people would do niche analysis uh, prior I have I've done this so many times I kind of know you know that I'm gonna be able to get rankings for this but I'm gonna go ahead and type in house flooding pressed in England and just do a quick research so house flooding press in England is actually a pretty hard keyword to go for, but it's a good job we're not specifically targeting house flooding, okay? So let's just have a quick look and you can see estimated traffic potential is 31,309 views per day. Um, and if we scroll down, um, what do we see? We've got, so we would ultimately be competing with some pretty authoritative channels so if you've got a new youtube channel trying to rank for this and you're not using any capital you're probably not going to be able to get this and we know this because it's saying look it's going to be pretty hard for the top five spots and it's going to be pretty hard to even get seen on the first page and it tells us this right here one of the advantages is that there's been no videos uploaded in the past 30 days so that's again pretty pretty okay but we know that this is actually a really good keyword if we find a way to start getting rankings for it okay um so what with this sort of search volume usually means very profitable so what i'm going to do is i'm going to jump over here okay and i'm just going to paste that back in and do Preston England and research. Okay, so you can see that that's drastically changed, but really exciting because what's it telling us? So it will be easy to rank on the top five spots on YouTube and it's going to be easy to rank on the first page past the five spots on uh, YouTube as well. That is really good news. Let's just scroll down over here and saying, look, the estimated traffic potential daily is gonna be approximately 4,235 views. And there's been two videos uploaded in the last 30 days. And if we scroll down, let's just have an overall look at the SEO scores. And that is a drastic change, sure, We've got a few with decent SEO scores, but this channel, for example, has only nine subscribers and they uploaded, what did they upload? A river Preston flooded by store. Okay, so they've got 887 viewers on their video, okay? So to beat that for our exact keyword is gonna be really easy. If we scroll down, What's this one? Um, tour, that's just a tour video, only a thousand subscribers. This one's got a million, so that's quite difficult. Uh, if we scroll down, this one's got zero subscribers, but this video, um, this is actually for sale video. So again, these videos shouldn't be too complicated to beat. So that's actually a really good keyword that we can potentially start uh, ranking for okay but let's move on and do water and flood damage okay so this actually says it's pretty easy which is fantastic because that's a good keyword so estimated traffic potential daily views which is 4147 viewers and if we scroll there's no videos in the past 30 days and if we scroll down let's have a look so the overall seo scores on awful uh, but let's see if any of them actually match what we're trying to rank for so 
um, this one doesn't. And it seems that this, I've seen this channel before. It seems that like these guys are, you know, probably the authority figures in this industry. And you can see that I've actually got a million subscribers. But if we scroll down, this video here has 460,000 views and it's only got 585 subscribers. In fact, the bulk sum in fact, this channel's probably only got one video uploaded, which you can see because this one video has got 459,000 and they've only got total views 460,000, okay? Oh, they've got three videos, sorry. Okay, so you can see the bulk sum comes from this one video, which shows the power of picking right keywords. Um, so I'm pretty happy there. The next thing to do is actually generate the video details for these campaigns. So let's go ahead over to video details. So what we want to do, we want to click the generate details and now we want to enter the main keyword. So our, the main keyword, the first one is flooded bungalow. General, okay. And we're going to select this one, click next step. Now, what you can see, it's actually recommending these video secondary keywords here. But I don't want to be using those secondary keywords. I want to be using the secondary keywords that we downloaded before. So these are the keywords that we got before. I'm just going to copy them and paste them in. Okay, so you can only have X amount so at one time, but that really doesn't matter. We're just going to carry on and do next step. Okay, next you want to populate your website, but I'm just going to go ahead and click generate and then generate. Okay, so that's been done and I'm just going to do that another two times for the other two videos. Okay, so that's now the third one that I've just done. Um, obviously, you guys would be doing a lot more and usually I do a lot more, but you know, these videos can't go on for way too long. So let's go ahead and start looking at them. Generated water and flood damage, England floods, popular video. Okay, and what I actually want to do, I've noticed Preston England isn't in there. So I'm going to take away popular video and I'm going to type in Preston England. Okay. And I'm going to type in services as well. Okay, and then England floods Preston, England. Okay, uh, so just get rid of. In order to discover more about, nope. So, um, so what we want to do, we want to add in our emergency or our trigger keywords. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to type in immediate response. Okay, and we're going to put this. We're going to replace it here. Okay, immediate response. Oh, let's just edit that. Um, immediate response. Um actually so what i'm going to do okay so we're going to take away that and replace that with just add preston england okay and then just add immediate response okay visit go okay and i'll just add this like so because that because when you do that it actually makes the site clickable and i'm also going to do or call this number okay so or call this number just like though. Now I said this in my previous videos, but uh, do not worry about the majority of this text here, okay? Go ahead, if you wanna edit it, tweak it, make it a little bit more fluent uh, to read, so be it. But most people, especially with emergency sort of services, do not look past the first two lines. A lot of the time they don't even watch the video, okay? so. If you want to tweak it, go ahead, but don't go too far from what it's created because it's created it so it ranks, okay? Again, Google and YouTube will only show the all of this information if someone clicks more info and the chances are they're not going to do that, especially if it's an emergency. So I'm just going to go ahead and press save, okay? And I'm just going to do that for the other two. So what you've just watched me do is some niche analysis, some keyword research, and overall just getting a a deeper understanding of what's going on with this industry, with this overall niche and the keywords that I'm going to be targeting. You've probably noticed that I've not been super pedantic about trying to find the perfect keywords or the perfect this or that because the bigger and more important thing is, sure, you need to find a niche and you need to find the keywords and and and, but it's easy to get caught up with it. So 
In order to truly start progressing with this sort of method, you've got to start taking action and action is getting things uploaded and repeating the process, okay? So, you know, I could have spent hours on that. I could have spent hours searching for things, but I didn't. I want to get started. I want to get uploading and it doesn't mean be careless, but it means just get going with this process, okay? Um, so now let's go on to the next video, which is going to be about video creation.